show you a demonstration of a project we're working on in collaboration with the SpaceQuest, Analyze Corporation, and Google. Some data collected by uh, SpaceQuest AIS satellites, uh, that's an automated identification system. This allows us to uh, track the location of vessels. So what we're seeing here is uh, vessels off the coast of uh, Peru and Chile. We combine the, the satellite data from SpaceQuest with um, analytics engine that we're developing with uh, Analyze Corporation to automatically identify based on the way a vessel moves uh, whether or not it is engaged in fishing behavior. With this visualization, you see a bunch of vessels moving around. You can see it uh, identifying uh, the uh, likely fishing behavior. Pause this uh, animation here and zoom right in. We can see uh, very obviously this, these are several uh, longliners operating here off the coast of Chile. Then uh, we're working with uh, the, the Google team uh, with a uh, relatively new technology called WebGL that lets us take very large amounts of data delivered over the internet to a web browser and serve it up very quickly directly into the graphics card by essentially generating a movie on the fly frame by frame. Let's turn on the easy boundaries and see where that is. Uh, <clears throat> so we're quite a ways offshore here. Um, and uh, then... Uh, we also have marine protected areas we can turn on, and then uh, we're all playing around with overlaying other data like the, uh, the native range of different uh, uh, fish species. This, this kind of data is uh, very problematic in, ter in terms of displaying in the time domain. This uh, new WebGL technology lets us manipulate the time domain very easily for very effective visualizations. So we have our heat map view, we have our vessel tracks. We have our overlays, and the user then, of course, is free to explore whatever time series they like. We envision expanding this to include not just this little chunk of the ocean from the equator to the southern tip of Chile. We'll be able to expand this to the entire world and be able to serve it up uh, dynamically to uh, the public. We'll also expand the data set, the entire world, from 2012 all the way up to yesterday, process the data as it comes in, and uh, visualize it immediately.